Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today I have my August 2017 body care empties and basically these are things that I've finished or that I'm finished with throughout the month. So without any further delay, let's get started. From Kirkland Signature, which is Costco's brand, I finished their uh, Ice Mint mouthwash. I finished my holy grail of face cleaner, which is First Aid Beauty. Um, the Pure Skin Facial Cleanser. This one is their 2.0 um, ounce and I'm probably not going to be buying this for a while because it's a little bit pricey and I am just trying to save money but I do love this cleaner. It's great for a sensitive skin. It doesn't really have a scent. It feels good. It moisturizes. It's on the creamy side and I highly recommend this if you're ever willing to splurge on a facial cleaner. From Joyco, I finished this one liter bottle size of the Color Balance Purple Conditioner. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I used to work at a place that sold salon products to professionals, but as an employee, I could buy stuff from them and with a employee discount. So I was able to buy this for I think like $10, and I don't even know what this goes for off the top of my head, retail but I was just in Ulta the other day and mind you this is one liter so it's 33.8 fluid ounces they were selling the 10 ounce bottle for like $17 and I got this for like 10 so um I got a little bit spoiled but uh, I really recommend this product if you have blonde hair that's colored like mine and you want to keep out the brassy tones I finished a makeup remover cleansing palette pack from Neutrogena. I finished from Suave their almond and shea butter shampoo in the moisturizing and this is supposed to help damaging hair. I do love this like natural line from Suave. I've tried many of their products and I've never been disappointed. Right now I'm kind of going through a phase where I still have a lot of products that I brought with me from where I used to live and there's random products that either I bought or were here at the house from before I moved in. So this was one of the things where there's just like a random bottle of shampoo and I finished it. From Bath and Body Works I finished this Coco Shea White Tea super soothing white tea body scrub which has cocoa butter, shea butter, and white tea extract. This I actually picked up during the summer annual sale. I believe it was a failed scent in the Coco Shea line because Coco Shea has cucumber, coconut, and honey but white tea didn't go wide release and I found this. I was interested in it. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute and it smells really good. I'm a big fan of Bath and Body Works white tea scent. The only thing is the walnut shells that were in this scrub, they didn't wash away in my tub properly. So after like two days of using this, I was looking at my tub and thinking, is that dirt? And it wasn't dirt. It was actually just the walnut shells. They just would not leave the bottom of my tub. So that's definitely a con. And then also, this is more of like a creamy type of formula. I like my scrubs to be like scrubby, to be coarse. And this was definitely more creamy, kind of like a creamy body wash with a little bit of grit. So it wasn't personally for me. My dog's right there. Um, it wasn't personally for me and I would not recommend this if you're like, if you're like me and you're looking for a coarser type of scrub. I am so sad. I finished from the 2D Dolce line from Bath and Body Works the Sweet Lemon Buttercup. This was a shower gel that I picked up during the semi-annual sale. <sighs> the memories. Anyway, uh, I think 2D Dolce is done. I think it's retired. I don't think it's ever going to come back. But I found this really late in the game and I love this scent and I'm really sad that I don't have any more of this. I do have the Golden Honey Praline and I also have the White Mocha Kiss and I do still have a body cream in this. But as for the shower gel, it was um, Meyer Lemon, Creamy Buttercup Petals and a Fluffy Meringue Sugared fluffy meringue sprinkled with sugar. I, I really love this and I'm sad that it's gone. Uh, 
I finished a Kat Von D Locket Primer. This was a splurge that I made last year in 2016 and you get one fluid ounce and basically this whole thing was filled with, it looked white, and as you pumped it, the, pro the little thing would go up and it was a nice lightweight water-based primer that I pretty much wore all the time with makeup. I didn't repurchase it yet because like I said, it is pricey, it is a splurge item. Maybe come November when they have the VIB sale for 20% off and I have extra money, I'll buy another one. But until then, I will look for more affordable primers. But like I said, if you have some money to splurge and you're interested in primers, I would recommend this. Also from Kat Von D, I finished the um, ink liner, that, the tattoo ink liner that she makes. And this is black, but it's called Trooper. This comes with a, it's like a felt pen. And I love these type of liners. They give a more precise line for someone like me that wants a bold eye, but isn't that great at applying eye makeup. I got this in a deluxe uh, Sephora sample box and um, like the Point Perks ones and I really like this color. I have bad luck with the brown color. It never seems to work with like my skin. It like melts off all the time but the black for some reason never disappoints and this dried up and I'm sad but I do have a large size of this that I can still use but I do recommend this liner if you like the, pre the <laughs> if you like the precise type of liners. From Physicians Formula, I am finished with this bronze booster. This is a highlight and contour palette, and it's in the shimmer type of finish. They also sold matte. I picked this up at Target earlier in the year. I should have gotten the matte, but it basically comes with these three, um, you know, there's a highlight, there's a medium size, um, bronzer and then oops a darker size bronzer and the dark is just way too dark for my skin the medium's okay but the shimmer kind of makes me look greasy and oily and I'm already that way to start and then the highlight made me look like an alien and I don't want to look like an alien I just never properly learned how to do like highlighting and contouring and so I look like a clown and the shimmer does not help so um, I'm definitely trashing this because I've tried multiple times and I've never liked the finished product. I finished three of the fun size of the Bath and Body Works lotions. These are all things that I got for free with the little coupons that they send in the mail. But I finished, um, and they're all three point fluid ounces. But I finished Moonlight Path, French Lavender and Honey, and then Warm Vanilla Sugar. From their body care signature line of their Ultra Shea body cream, I finished this butchered bottle of Sheer Cotton and Lemonade. And the reason why it's butchered is because I try to get out as much product as I can and with this triangular packaging it's always hard to get what's left in here if you're just squeezing it. This was okay. I picked this up at the winter semi-annual sale. Um, it wasn't bad but it wasn't like my favorite either. I wore it. It was like a light type of scent. I, I don't know what cotton smells like so I can't say like oh it smells like cotton. I definitely get a little bit of lemon but this isn't a scent that I would ever buy again. I don't feel like I would have to, but it was nice. And I'm one of those people, like once I start using a product in my mind, I have to finish it. So that's why I committed to this and finished it. I finished two different body soaps. I have from of course, these are from Bath and Body Works, let's be real. I finished the Sweet Berries and Cream, and I picked this up during the semi-annual sale. 
I said this during my haul video and I'll say it again. So this part you don't know because it's obviously empty, but this was a blue liquid and the packaging shows a bowl of blueberries. And so you would think blueberries. No, it's fresh raspberries, tart cranberry, and warm pie. So I don't really understand the packaging on this, but it was just a nice soap for the summer. Berries, you can't go wrong. I also finished from their French collection, French Tulips. And I had actually bought this months ago on an online order. So when it came, you know, it was all wrapped up. I didn't actually smell it until I was putting it in my bathroom. And the reason why I bought it is because I love tulip scents. Um, excuse me, I had some iced coffee today. Uh, but basically, this is another one where Bath and Body Works had decisive decisive, um, deceptive packaging because it says French tulips, you know, it has tulip packaging on the sticker, but yet it is white jasmine, lily of the valley, and sparkling nectarine. Where's the tulips? But it was a very nice floral scent. scent. Um, it was a very... <laughs> I'm sorry guys. It was a very nice floral scent and I liked it. I also have Raspberry Rosé still in my collection that I've yet to smell because it has the um, the protective cover on it. But that's like the danger I guess of not smelling the soaps when you buy them. But like I said, I got pretty fortunate this was a nice smelling soap. The last product I have isn't technically finished yet. There's like a little bit, but I'm not going to keep it for a whole month just to save it for a video. And it's from Bath and Body Works and it is the Bourbon Strawberry and Vanilla Body Cream. This I bought along with the cotton and lemonade one at the end of Christmas time last year. And I wish I would have used this earlier. I hadn't even smelled it until I started using it earlier this month or earlier in August. And it's amazing. I love this. I'm just like, I feel like it smells so good when I wear this. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the other, because you know they do repackaging, so I don't know like what repackage of scent this is, but if I figured it out, I would totally buy it when it was on sale. But I really like it. I'm enjoying it. And it's got a little bit left, and soon I'll cut it open and scrape it out like the frugal, cheap person that I am. But um, I liked it. So that's it. Those were my body care empties for August. Those were the things that I finished and that I'm finished with. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please think about giving it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.